Hello again. My name is Dr. Karl Werner Ulrich. I'm from Germany and um, I am the creator of Roo Extend. And today I have a new Roo extension for you. And you see it probably has something to do with a with a headphone. The new extension is called uh, Roo Extend. And I will show you in this video how to set it up with Roo. Roo head, what it is for. You know, headphones have uh, amplitude frequency response that is not flat at all. And um, so if you listen to your headphone, uh, you often have the impression that, well, maybe the sound is dull or maybe it is too thin. And so the Harman company, one day, this is several years ago, uh, they made a research on how to equalize headphones that they sound like speakers in a reference room. And um, we have now these equalizers for more than 4,000 headphones in a database. And uh, Ruhead is able to grab the right headphone correction from this database and give you a correction filter, an equalizer, that you can easily import in Rune and use it for your headphone. Well, what I have I here? Um, I have an RNA um, ADI2 duck, and on top of it, I have the new Rune Extend box that you can uh, currently buy if you go to the to the RuExtend.com page. And um, it is a, a plug and play box that uh, you, you have, need no tinkering here. So just connect the duck and you're, you're fine. Um, the ADI is uh, connected to my, to my headphone. And um, here beside me, I have a, a PC with, with Rune on it. If you like to use Rune Head, you first have to get a, a license. I am bring up the, the browser here and type dey.ruextend.com. This gets you to my, to my home page. And uh, here you see the, the new RuHead section. Click on it. And um, from there, you can, can buy uh, RuHead and you see all other things that are may be important for you or not. If you got the license key, you go to Rune and um, switch to Settings, Extensions. And there you see the extensions that are currently enabled in our Rune Extend box. Um, to enable RuHead, go to the uh, license manager here, go to the settings, open the RuHead section and um, copy the license key in and press save. A short time later, um, you will see that uh, RuHead appears here and now you're fine. So, how to get the filters? Go to the settings of RuHead and first select your headphone. Mine is a Sennheiser. There are a lot of manufacturers, so you, you have to scroll a while until you get there. And um, my headphone is a HD 580 Precision. It's a very, very old headphone. And normally, you get here um, zero dBs and uh, no, that's that's a default because um, these uh, uh, targets that Harman had computed, they rely well on, on, on what most people feel is good sound. If you're an experienced user, you will see too much uh, bus boost and uh, so we will reduce this a little bit as I know I'm an experienced user and um, 
the tilt as I'm a bit elder I, I go to plus 2 dB so I need more uh, heights and I activate the, uh, the headroom management. The headroom management uh, gives you the chance that you can compare um, how it sounds with and without the equalizer uh, on, a, on the same volume. Yeah? Because normally the um, equalizers decrease volume a bit. And uh, if we do that, we, we set it up and press save. So here it says it is calculating. That takes, takes some seconds, maybe, maybe half, half a minute. Depends a bit on the, on the device you have. If you have a Raspberry Pi 4, you're faster. If you have a Raspberry Pi 2 or what, you're slower. What you see here is an important number. It's the, the headroom management. It's minus 9.11. I, I remember that. And where are the filters now? The equalizer you can download when you go here to, to the Ruhead link. I click on it and then it got downloaded and it's in the download region that I can open here. So here it is. That's fine. What we have to do is we have to copy it to a folder that can be accessed by Rune. The uh, download folder, folder cannot be accessed by Rune, so, so I, I move it over here and um, go back to Rune then. It is, you see where it is, it is C headphone equalizer. Um, now I go to the volume setting of my ADA2, go to DSP, add a filter, select the convolution filter and browse to the equalizer. What did I say? It's C, headphone equalizer, Ruhead zip. So here we are. Click select. It loads and says Ruhead here. What else we have to do? We have to enable the headroom management. Go there and enter the minus 9.11 that we, we got in the calculation. This number is, is different uh, for all um, equalizers, for the different headphones, so it's not, not really the same. What I recommend is activating the clipping indicator because this little green dot here uh, will get red if, if you have too much, too much power and uh, the signal will clip. Yeah, you're fine with it. Um, now let's try. Um, I will put on my, my headphones um, and just play, play a track. It's a bit loud. So we can go to the um, signal path here and uh, what we should see are two things. We should see the headroom adjustment, what, what we entered. And we should see the um, convolution filter, two pass 66K, 66K tabs. That's fine. If you, if you see that, then, then you're fine. And now you can um, compare the, the sound with or without um, equalization just by, by bypassing uh, the filters. Yeah? If you bypass it, the, the convolution is, is off. And if you... Re-enable it, the convolution is on again. And so you can listen to the, to the difference um, that the um, uh, filter brings um, and the more quality that the filter gives to you. Um, with my old headphones, uh, it was really astonishing because um, these headphones uh, now sound with the equalizer uh, like my, my calibrated um, system in my listening room. And so, yeah, I, I begin to love it. Yeah, I, I never left these headphones because they, they were quite thin and um, yeah, it was just wrong. And, um, but it was old. The, here the, the foam got, got broken and uh, yeah, I restored it, refurbished it, new foam and up here. And now I have fun with my, my old headphone. 
and it plays really great also at big volumes. So try it by yourself. Thanks for listening.